Hi guys, good morning. Welcome to your daily love reading for Thursday, May 31st. Welcome, come on in. If you're new to my channel, my name is Uma. I own Lotus Wellness Center in Manassas, Virginia. I teach on metaphysical spiritual topics. I teach this class, Angel Tarot Card class of the cards that I use. And I also do private readings. Please feel free to hit me up, umalotusflower.com. Okay, so for those of you that are my lovely time stampers, thank you so much. Here we go. Starting with the first couple, which is couples that are in union, 33 seconds in. This is for couples, twin flames, soulmates, karmics, and if you're in union, living together, married, engaged, in a relationship, this is your reading. Okay, here we go. What is the divine masculine feeling towards the divine feminine today? Thursday, May 31st. He's feeling lots of things, and we just want one card for this short reading. All right, so we're going to go with the top one that's up. It says past life relationship. And now advice for divine feminine today. Very soon. So with these two cards, I know that the divine feminine and masculine are working towards some goal. With the divine masculine, he is realizing that there is a strong connection here. This is much more than just this lifetime. He's beginning to really understand the nature of the energy between the two. With the Divine Feminine, she's wanting something in the relationship. And it's something that she's been wanting for a while. And Spirit is just reminding her to be patient because it is coming to her. She's going to get everything that she is dreaming of concerning this request. Okay? Now let's see the nature of the relationship for Thursday, May 31st. We have Balance. So this is a really good card. It feels like the divine masculine and feminine that are in relationship have been out of balance for a while. It could have been the world, it could have been external influences, or it could just be them trying to regain balance within their own lives. But what they're going to find on Thursday is that the balance will be restored between them, the love will be there, and they will understand the deeper commitment, okay? So the word for today for couples is balance. If you don't have the balance, if it's not there and you're not feeling it, then make every effort you can to focus back on getting that balance restored in your relationship. Okay, timestamp 2 minutes 33 seconds in. This is for couples that are separated but still communicating. Let's see what the Divine Masculine is feeling towards Divine Feminine. Stay optimistic about your love life. And then for Divine Feminine, advice from Spirit... You deserve love. And the relationship energy for this couple is three of water. So this is really promising. I feel that there was a lot of love energy on Wednesday. And on Thursday, we have the divine masculine shifting. He is now more feeling, feeling more positive about the idea of reconciliation. He's feeling more positive about his divine counterpart, his feminine. And He's beginning to feel romantic again. You know, like those romantic feelings are being stirred again. The divine feminine is beginning to have her self-love come back because she took a hit with the separation. And in the communication, she's been maintaining the, the communication, the connection with her divine masculine, but she's also been doing her own work. And that's why it's saying you are lovable. She's beginning to recognize, hey, I am lovable. I have a lot to offer. The Three of Water is a celebration card. This actually talks about like weddings, graduations, birth announcements, and it can also talk about the return of an ex. So I wouldn't be too surprised if on Thursday, May 31st, there's some people that are reconnecting, getting, you know, re, you know, having a reunion or getting back into a relationship. It's just one of those things where everybody's feeling good within themselves about the other person, and it's just very natural for that to flow back in. Okay? So very good energy for couples that are separated and communicating. Okay, now our final couple, um, let's go ahead and timestamp 4 minutes 22 seconds in, and this is for couples that are separated and not communicating. So there is no communication, but there's still love there, and let's see what we have. Divine Masculine, how is he feeling towards Divine Feminine? Love yourself first. What is the advice for the Divine Feminine in this kind of relationship? Keep an open mind, and there's also attraction. So what we have here with this couple, oh, and the nature 
of the relationship or lack of relationship, the dreamer, new beginnings. Okay, so for the couples that are separated, not communicating, um, the energy is there for love, but not necessarily for each other. Divine Feminine is going to have an offer coming in of someone else, another suitor and somebody else who's interested in her, and she will naturally be attracted to them, and yet she will still be feeling loyalty towards this person who has let go. But Spirit is being very clear. Take the leap, take the jump, and go ahead and expand your horizons. Um, Divine Masculine is working on his self-love. Love Yourself First talks about working on getting to know you, and that's probably why he took time out from the relationship. He had to step back, reassess, and kind of be like, okay, let me see what I need to do about this, right? And do about myself. Because, you know, you can't love someone unless you love yourself. And that's the energy here for the Divine Masculine. Divine Feminine, I feel she's been doing her work, and there's an opportunity coming up for her to get in a relationship with someone else. Now, it says, keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Don't be surprised if you actually end up meeting your twin flame or your soulmate, because sometimes we feel that this other person is it, and then you meet somebody else who comes along who treats you way better, who's nicer to you, you have more in common with, but sometimes we're being stubborn and we don't want to pay any attention to it because of this. So that's why Spirit is saying, keep an open mind. Okay, and if whatever new person comes into your life on this Thursday, understand you have the dreamer card. And this talks about the start of the spiritual journey, the start of the spiritual path. So keep it in mind for whatever happens on Thursday, May 31st. All right, guys, that's it for now. Thank you so much. And again, if you would like a private reading into your own situation, please feel free to contact me. My website is umalotusflower.com. And I usually respond very quickly to requests coming in. Thanks, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.